All right, guys, this is the last one before this hurricane comes through. You guys know we uh, are down here in Florida and we have a big storm headed our way. And I'm hoping it's gonna miss us and do as little as damage as possible. But we, we definitely gotta take cover and uh, take this storm seriously because it's a very big one. And uh, we got one big job in here we're gonna shoot before this storm comes through. And it's on an Alfa Romeo here we're doing. It's a red metallic and it's a big job. And this will be the last one I shoot. I figured let me do a video real quick before we end up taking a little time off maybe and hoping that this uh, hurricane passes us through and doesn't do much damage. So we got to bring all the cars in and make sure that we uh, cover everything up the best we can. You definitely don't want stuff blowing around in the park a lot, making more damage. So we're definitely going to uh, bring all the vehicles in and uh, try to get as safe as we can around here. So let's shoot this one and hope the best for everybody that's gonna have to deal with this storm coming through. All right, guys, we're sealing this one with the Iwata, the uh, primer sealer gun, the LVX that I have, and we went with a medium gray on this one. That's a good shade for these uh, vivid red colors in the PPG. So we put our sealer on, and then we went right into our base coat with the 3M performance gun with the 1-2 head on it. And this color had very good coverage for a red. You guys can see how nice it's covering over the top of that gray. I was surprised because you guys know them reds are usually pretty transparent, but check out right here on this bumper as I'm going over that uh, gray, how nice it covers. Uh, Alfa Romeos are definitely uh, intricate with the bumpers. They have a lot of angles and bends on the front bumper there with that unique front end that they have. But we just went ahead on this one. We put three coats of base and then we started to let it flash off. I, I put the coats on, I let them sit, and then I uh, put another coat on. I don't just back to back them on these. I kind of let them flash off good. That way we get maximum coverage on it. But we're definitely taking this uh, storm serious down here in Florida. And uh, it's definitely a big one that's headed our way. So I was trying to maximize this day and get as much as I can done because you guys know when these storms come through, you guys can get a lot of power outages and stuff like that. So you never know when you're gonna be back to working because power could be out a while because we are in the Tampa Bay area here at this shop. So just a nice, pretty red from uh, Alfa Romeo. So I went ahead and actually shot this car with the camera, tried that new camera out that they have. And it picked a two stage formula for this color and it really matched well. And I was pretty surprised how good that new camera is. It does all kinds of angles. It does the flop, the face. It also picks the metallic size and it definitely did a good job with this one here. So we're just finishing it up here with the base and uh, we'll be clearing this one with the LPH uh, 400. And you guys know I have a 1.4 in that gun and we're using a 2021 clear on this one that I've been using a lot lately here at this new shop. I did pick up some 8150 that I'll be trying out here soon. But you guys asked me, how come I haven't used my uh, DB1? I'm just, I like to get familiar with a, a clear, feel it out, and then I'll start switching guns up because I know how the uh, clear reacts. Because you guys know that CC200 was kind of a fast clear and it liked to set up quick, so you really could try anything with it. But this clear here definitely likes to flow out better. And I do like it because it flows out like the old school glamour clears do. just clearing this one up now I put two wet wet coats on this and I let it flash pretty good in between coats on this clear I usually used to back to back my uh, CC 200 this one here I'm waiting about 10 minutes in between coats and I'm using the 95 reducer with this one so definitely a beautiful clear and you guys will see that in this video here this one came out really clean and laid out really really flat I did have one spot that almost wanted to sag just a little bit, but that'll be easy to just buff out. So I'll show you guys that maybe in another video of how I do a little uh, sag when you get one, because you guys know nobody's perfect. So we put two coats on this and uh, you guys will see it here in the end. I'm going to finish this up. Go ahead and watch me spray it 
and then let me know what you guys think of this one in the end. guys so that definitely came out beautiful what a beautiful job that came out to be very clean and uh, that's the last one before the storm so it's kind of quiet out there right now but we're about to be under some real severe weather here so I wish the best to everyone out there to be safe and uh, I hope you guys like this video and hopefully everything will go smooth from here on out and uh, we'll see you guys in a couple of days on another video so see you on the next one